Okay, this is where we left off on the last video. So this is a tumbling, flying, spinning object. And <clears throat> we're doing this. Here's an elevation view. So this is one where it hits the ground, it's kind of flying through the air, smacks the ground right there, but it's spinning as it's flying. So it's spinning from the middle because it's this balanced object. So the weight is evenly distributed. So if it's spinning around, it's gonna have to spin from the middle of the box. So here's the, the landing. These are, these are gonna be really kind of small shapes. And I, I hope it doesn't get like too small that we can't even see what's going on, but do my best and try to keep the pen, oh, my um, pencil sharp and we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if we can even get this box done in this one, one, this one video. We might have to break this, this box down into a couple videos. So, um, I need to find this spot, and it's two inches, but we're using half inch as units. So I probably should just say four it'll be less confusing to so that keeps my scale consistent so i have four units from the middle of this box back to this spot i'm going to do that first and then we're going to go up and then this one was just a mistake so i'm going to i put a little tracing paper over the top of this so uh because it's going to get busy and it's nice to have a little separate sheet it keeps things clean so I'm going to take this and just find the center of the box and drop straight down and there is the halfway point on the, the ground so it's a little bit in front of this measuring line because I made this box one unit behind the measuring line and then two units in front of the measuring line. And this is one and a half. So it's gonna be a little bit above in front of this measuring line. So I want a spot that is four units behind this, this dot right here. So I'm gonna take this dot that's out in front of the picture plane and I'm gonna use this measuring point and project it back to the picture plane and that's going to be zero. And from there, I'm going to count over four. One, two, three, four. So from this zero on the ruler to here, that is four. And then I take that and project that back to here, which makes this from this dot, the halfway point to here is four. So I got to this spot and now I want to come up how far we didn't measure this yet. So it is one, two, three, four, five units tall. So I can just come over here right at the at the measure this is where you have to measure everything is that this the picture plane so right here is where the measuring line touches this box and i'm going to use that spot and from there come up five one two three four five there is five right at the picture plane and then i'm going to bring this back going to this left vanishing point and draw a line straight up and there. That's that dot is, is that dot. Now I know where the center of this box is, this middle box is. So um, I need to make this 1.5 and 1.5 and I need to make this a half and a half. I have to measure it from the center of the box. I guess that is the, like the new thing we haven't done. If you have something spinning and flying through space, you have to measure it from the center. We haven't done that yet. 
So this is the center of this box. And this box is 30 degrees. This, this line is 30 degrees. And this line is going to be 60 degrees. So we, let's, um, let's do that. Here is 30 degrees. And here is 60 degrees. Interesting that this four is almost like tangent with that 30 degrees. Hate when those tangents happen. They're not very good examples when you have these tangent lines. I don't want anybody to think that you go from here through number four and you bring it out to there. It just happens that this, this, they just happen to line up with each other. So here's one of our vanishing points. And the other vanishing point is way off the paper and we'll have to deal with that. So if I draw a line through here, this vanishing point. I'm gonna try to keep these light. I think if they get, I know this is gonna be really small and if they get too dark, it's just gonna be hard to see what's going on. So this line is this line. And now I just, now I have the angle and I just need to measure it one and a half on each side of the center. So I'm going to set up a auxiliary horizon line. I'm not explaining much of these. I'm just kind of talking my way through it because we've done all these things before and uh, it's just applying them. So we'll take this and then here's our measuring point. Well, this is kind of kind of new because I need to measure this line and it's an incline. So the measuring line has to touch this line. So it's up in the air and I'm measuring from the center. So right here, this is where the measuring line needs to be. Right there, measuring line. But my scale is down here. So I've got a, a two-step process. I'm going to take an inch and a half on each side, bring it back, and then raise it up. So here's zero. I'm going to start from this spot. This is a good spot because it's lined up right with that dot, and it goes over here to the left vanishing point, and this is at my picture plane. So I can come over one and a half, and then one and a half in this line from here to there is three, one and a half on each side. And I'm going to bring it back to this dot. So there is three back in space. Taking this three, moving it here. And then I'm just gonna raise it up. You can, lines that go up and down, they don't get bigger or smaller. So I just take this and project it straight up. Take this one, project this. I'm trying to keep these lines straight, straight up. So here's three right at the center of uh, this this new box. And here is our measuring point. So I go from, here's zero right in the middle, come over to 1.5 and project that to, the, to this brown line. That makes this 1.5. Then I come over to 1.5 on the other side of zero and go to the measuring point and then project this out to here and we get 1.5. So 
So this, now we just found that spot and that spot. So I think maybe I do this in a bunch of little videos because now this is already getting busy and I feel like I maybe need to put another uh, tracing paper over and just save this part of this line right here that we just measured. And then this three unit long line that is at a 30 degree angle. We'll save this one. And then we'll, the next thing we're gonna do is, is the thickness. And I'll probably do it on an overlay and clean this all up. And then we'll, uh, it'll be easier to see, I think.